Welcome to Shark Valley and Shark Valley Tower. You might have noticed as you walked up, there was a little smoke on the road down there. In the far distance behind me, you'll see another few smoke columns. Everglades National Park is actually conducting a prescribed fire today. Fire is a natural part of the ecosystem here. Fire is beneficial for a lot of different reasons. And the part that we're going to light along Shark Valley Tram Road here is from about right here uh -huh. south. Okay. You know, and the winds are kind of like this. Okay. So they'll bring fire this way, yeah. and then we'll probably end right by the Shark Valley Tower yeah. towards the end of the day where they'll tie it in. Okay. You know, our real concern is visibility on 41, you know, and with the wind flow the way it is, it's unlikely, but it's possible. So just a little thing for the American taxpayer is that these cost about a couple of dollars per acre. We'll spend a million dollars a day on a wildfire. Fighting it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this right. way cheaper. Oh, Plus, right. I'm the yeah. fire manager here, so this is safer. You know, Much. you'll see the helicopter appear pretty soon and make a pass and drop a few little ignition devices. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a couple of... Oh, so they're setting the fires with the bushes. Right. I mean, we've planned every little patch yeah. that we're going to burn so it's like he's letting this you can see this is starting to go out yeah. and then he'll come back and light it and he'll let the wind take it into the area that's already burned kind of like a mosaic or tiles right. you know we just kind of connect them together oh, that's interesting. and yeah. this seems like a large patch 25,000 acres but yeah. the park's a million acres so we'll burn these patches all throughout the park the Everglades will not function well unless it's burned because for all of us who have cleaned out drains, we know if this thing's draining south and we've got this dense sawgrass in it, it's not making it to Florida Bay. It's evaporating before it goes to Florida Bay and Florida Bay needs fresh water. I mean, we're starting to get how all of this is all connected. Uh -huh. All this makes sense and, you know, I just hope it continues that way. We've spent a few years planning this river grass prescribed burn. And one of the reasons why we believe it's going well and I feel good about it is that we've got good wind flow. The wind is blowing smoke away from the highway, the visitor use area. That shows you that the This is a complex burn because we have to protect endangered species, cultural resources, life and property, and of course we want to enhance the visitor experience here. So finding the perfect day and the perfect conditions, especially in an area that's been so long unburned such as this, has been very, very challenging. We have some of the most experienced Everglades firefighters prescribed burners on this burn today. For example, Gary Carnell, who's running the aviation operation, has been burning here in the Everglades and, and fighting fire in the air for nearly 20 years. This place, when it's wet and when fire is moving across the landscape, is a healthy Everglades. And I probably will not feel comfortable for two or three more days until this fire's completely out. <laughs> but we have a good plan and it's going very well.